Hi, I'm Marty Nimco. Homework was probably first assigned the very first time a teacher was frustrated that students weren't learning enough, and that's probably when civilization began. And since then, legions of kids have pleaded, they've yelled, they've lied, they've done everything possible to avoid the dreaded task. Alas, it falls to the parent to be homework's policeman. And maybe a case could be made for leaving that to the child's discretion, so the parent has to do anything. After all, if it's left to the kid, it's more likely to build intrinsic motivation, the kid motivated by themselves, not for fear of punishment. It's more likely to teach the kid to not accept authority, that is, the teacher's authority on blind faith, but just do the work when that child feels it is really worth it. It avoids nightly fights with the parent, and your kid's going to reap the consequences anyway of doing or not doing homework, and that will ultimately encourage responsibility without your having to lift a finger. Besides, very few kids' ultimate success or failure, or even their work ethic, will likely get decimated because they only did homework when they felt it was worth doing. That said, it's probably true that most homework probably does increase learning. After all, time on task is among education's few truisms. And kids who don't do homework do get lower report card grades. That may matter little in elementary school, except it is probably wise to establish good habits early. Also, Kids' self-esteem is heavily, maybe too heavily, based on their grades. But in high school, the homework escape artist's GPA will probably be downgraded, thereby reducing their options for college. Although even that may be far from critical. For example, less selective colleges are more teaching-oriented than research-oriented than our design, design or label universities, so they may get a better education. And at those less selective colleges, there's usually more time for extracurriculars which arguably are more central to life success, not to mention pleasure, than is GPA. But at minimum, homework does teach discipline. Alas, we've all got to do things we don't like. So maybe it is best to start the training early. Indeed, most parents, even radical counter-culturists, counter tend to get conservative when it comes time for homework. They want Junior to get it done. Maybe not to the pinnacle of perfection, but at least to get the darn thing over with. In that spirit of moderation, here are some practical tactics for getting kiddo to do homework and maybe learn something along the way. The focus here is on what's realistic in the real world. I call these tips, as all of them in this series, doables. Ritualize. Can you get your budding bumpkin to agree on a time each day to do the dastardly deed? A logical time is a few minutes after getting home from school, maybe after a snack, and if you're there after telling you the day's boons and brickbats, or, if like many kids, sitting for six hours in class makes the kid crave movement, fine. Send him or her out to burn some adrenaline and return just in time to do the homework before dinner. After dinner is usually worse because food coma or other fatigue is more likely to set in. Negotiate. Unless you're blessed with one of those rare kids who knock off their homework with quality without you having a peep, you may need to negotiate a bit, at least when trying to inculcate some self-starterhood, for example. Kid says, Ma, do I have to do my homework? Parent says, well, what do you think? Anything you want to look forward to as soon as you get it done? Kid says, don't give me that. I hate homework, and tonight's is hard. Parent says, I'll make you a deal. You start, and if you reach a hard part, I'll help you just enough to get over the hump. So, you want to do your homework in your room or at the kitchen table? Nowhere. The parent laughs and shoots a school marmy look. The kid toddles off, and one minute later, I need help. Parent spends only the minimum time helping, trying, usually instead of doing the hard part, asking the child a question in hopes that will enable the kid to conquer the roadblock. The kid says, why do I need to do this anyway? I get enough math in school and I don't even need to know that. Calculating the volume of a tetrahedron? The parent says, well, it probably helps improve your thinking skills, and you can't say that's not important. The kid says, I improve my thinking skills more by solving the problems in video games. The parent says, good. Do your homework, and then you can play a video game stuffed with thinking problems. And I am not referring to Grand Theft Auto. Because that's not fair. That's my favorite game. The parent says, okay. This is kind of fun, but it's taking too long. Get the darn homework done. Show it to me. Let's have dinner, and then you can play Grand Theft for 15 minutes. I'll set a timer, you monster, you. That whole exchange look took less than two minutes. It avoided undue oppositionality, made a reasonable case for homework without the long lecture, 
and, if anything, strengthened the parent-child bond. And while, on one hand, the playful attention and negotiation rewarded the child's stalling, in general, a conversation like that's going to increase the chances that the child will subsequently do homework with less and eventually maybe no shenanigans. Of course, I'm well aware that many parents are too rarely in the mood for such a humorous negotiation, so you might view such an approach as merely aspirational. Remember, if your child slapdashes or other doesn't do part or even all his homework that night, life will not end as we know it. A little perspective can make life easier for all concerned, and that's certainly a doable. Anyway, the next installments in this series of doables um, continues with parenting. Friends, then drugs, sex, and planning for college and other post-high school options. In any event, I do thank you for watching this. Feel free to give this a thumbs up or if needed, a thumbs down. Write a comment. Hit the share button and share on your social media or, and or to subscribe. In any event, I do appreciate you watching. I am Marty Nemco.